After months of waiting, finally, this is your video on how to install and configure Windows Server 2012 R2. So many of you have been requesting para sa video tutorial na to and this is an update or follow up do sa video natin regarding sa pag install and configure ng Windows Server 2008. Inuna natin yung Windows Server 2008 kasi yun yung naka-specify para sa mga task na gagawin ng mga kumukuha ng Computer System Servicing NC2 at ito rin yung ipagagawa ng mga assessors sa kanilang national assessment. Basta mga assessors may ask for you to install yung Windows Server 2012 kaya yun yung ituturo natin ngayong araw. Yung mga procedure sa pag-install uh, at pag-configure nito is almost the same ng pag-i-install at pag-configure para sa Windows Server 2008 na nauna natin ginawa ng video. Meron lang kaunting differences do sa GUI o kung saan nyo pupuntahan yung iba't ibang mga functions para makapag-add ng mga servers at makapag-configure ng mga settings. So create your bootable flash drive using any of the tools na tinalakay na natin sa mga previous natin mga videos. And using yung ISO ng Windows Server 2012 R2 na ilalagay ko sa description sa baba kung saan nyo siya pwedeng i-download. So, let's start. So, gagawin natin yung ating installation ng Windows Server 2012 R2 using a virtual machine. If you'd like to know how to create your own virtual machine, maglalagay din ako ng link sa description sa baba para sa video natin para doon. So, kung gagawin nyo to sa isang physical or standalone na computer, plug in your bootable flash drive, and then sa BIOS, set nyo to as yung first boot priority. Na once na nakaload na kayo dito sa ating Windows setup, let's install our operating system as usual. Now, dito sa screen na to, may pagpipilian kayo kung anong uwi ng installation ng Windows Server 2012 ang pipiliin ninyo. So, para sa ating example for today, ang pipiliin natin is Windows Server 2012 R2 Standard Server with a GUI. Highlight natin yon and then click natin yung next. So, now natapos na tayo ng pag install para sa ating Windows Server Operating System. Let's press Ctrl Alt Delete para mag-sign in sa ating computer. And then, type in natin yung password na in-specify natin sa ating administrator account kanina sa pag install ng operating system. Then, login tayo sa ating account. And now, nandito tayo sa desktop environment ng Windows Server 2012 R2. So, once na nakapag-login tayo, as usual, automatically nag-open yung Server Manager application kung saan dito tayo mag-configure ng ating Windows Server as well, magdadagdag tayo ng mga roles at mga features para maging functional yung installation natin. So, start tayo sa ating configuration by clicking the local server dito sa upper left side of the screen. And then, let's configure our Windows Firewall. So, dito sa Windows Firewall window, click natin yung allow an app or feature through Windows Firewall. And then, select natin dito yung net log on service. And then, remote desktop, remote service management, and Windows Firewall remote management. Select natin yung okay. And then, close natin. So, ang susunod natin gagawin is enable natin yung remote desktop natin. Click natin yung link. And then, dito sa system properties, under remote desktop, let's click yung allow remote connections to this computer. Click natin yung OK. Apply. And then, click natin ulit yung OK button. Next, provide tayo ng computer name para sa ating server para mas madali natin siya ma-identify. So, dito sa system properties again, click natin yung change button. So, we'll name this computer as server and then click natin yung OK. Restart natin yung ating computer afterward. So, once na nakapag-reboot na ulit tayo, let's login ulit sa ating server. And then, ang susunod natin i-configure is yung ating networking. So, click natin ulit yung local server. Click natin yung link beside dun sa entry ng Ethernet. Now, dito sa Network Connections window, right-click natin yung ating Ethernet connection. Then, select natin yung property. Untick natin or tanggalin natin yung checkmark para sa Internet Protocol version 6. Highlight natin yung IPv4. And let's click on properties. Click natin yung use the following IP address. And then, put in the following values. IP address natin is 192.168.100.15 Para sa ating submask, automatic na siyang magkakaroon ng entry At para sa default gateway natin, lalagay natin is 192.168.100.1 Dito naman sa ating preferred DNS server, ilalagay natin yung IP address na nilagay natin kanina So 192.168.100.15 Select natin yung OK And then close Close na rin natin itong window para sa network connection So mag add tayo ng ating DNS server. Punta tayo ngayon sa dashboard. Then, click natin yung Add Roles and Features. Click natin yung Next. Click natin yung Next dito sa Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation. Highlight natin yung server natin ngayon. Click Next. And then, lagyan natin ng checkmark yung DNS server for now. May lalabas ditong dialog box para sa Add Roles and Features Wizard. Click natin yung Add Features na button. 
and then click the next button para sa mga susunod na window to install our DNS server. Now once na nagsaksi na tayo sa installation sa ating server, let's click the close button and let's configure our DNS server. Click on tools, select DNS, click on the arrow next to our server name, right click on forward lookup zone, then left click sa new zone. Dito tayo ngayon sa ating new zone wizard, click next, select primary zone, and then enter natin yung ating zone name. For this example, type natin yung computer name natin. So, server.local. Click natin yung next button. Then, next button again. Select natin yung allow both non-secure and secure dynamic update. Then, click next. And then, click natin yung finish. Right-click naman tayo sa ating reverse lookup zone. Click natin yung new zone. Click again the next button. Then, select uli natin yung primary zone. Make sure na nakaselect yung IPv4 reverse lookup zone. Then, click next. And then type in natin yung ating IP address. So, 192.168.100. Click natin yung next. Click the next button again. Piliin natin uli yung allow both non-secure and secure dynamic update. Click yung next button. And then click natin yung finish. Close na natin tong DNS manager. Sunod natin i-add yung ating active directory domain. So, add roles and features uli tayo. Click natin uli yung next. Role-based or feature-based installation. Select uli natin yung ating server, click next. Itik naman natin yung box sa tabi ng Active Directory Domain Services. And then let's proceed to install our Active Directory Domain Services. So after the installation process, kinakailangan natin i-configure ang ating Active Directory Domain Services. So close natin ang window na ito. So dito sa server manager, point your mouse dito sa flag na mayroong exclamation mark. And then select natin yung promote this server to a domain controller. Click natin yung add a new forest. Then type in natin yung ating root domain. So type in natin ngayon dito yung server.local. Click natin yung next button. Dito naman sa functional level of the new forest and root domain, I leave this as it is. Type natin yung ating password para sa directory services restore mode. Confirm natin ang ating password. Click natin ang next. For this part, kailangan natin ng credentials for delegation creation. So click natin yung change. Apply natin yung ating credentials. Type natin administrator. Then yung ating password. Click natin yung OK. Click natin ang next. Itong ating NetBIOS domain name is assigned for us. So click natin yung next button again. Then click natin ulit yung next button dito sa window na to. And then click natin yung install. So our computer will restart at some point. Let's wait again for it to boot up. So after natin makapag-reboot, let's plug in again to our server. At kung mapapansin ninyo, nandito na tayo sa ating domain. Let's put in our password and then press enter. So ang final na role na i-add natin dito sa ating installation for this demonstration is yung ating DHCP server. So we're going to click add roles and features. Click next again. Role-based and feature-based installation. Select natin yung ating server. Click next. And then, click natin yung DHCP server. Click add features. Click next. And then, let's proceed to install our DHCP server. Now, let's configure our DHCP server. Punta tayo sa tools. Then, select natin DHCP. Click natin itong arrow next to our server. Then, right-click on IPv4. Click natin yung new scope. Punta tayo ngayon sa new scope wizard. Click next. Type natin yung ating scope name. So, halimbawa, server scope. Click natin yung next. Then, maglalagay tayo ng range ng mga IP addresses na gusto natin gamitin ng ating DHCP server. So, for this demonstration, ang starting IP address natin is 192.168.100.30. Ang end IP address naman natin is 192.168.100.80. This means na kapag mayroong device na kukonect dito sa ating server, mag-a-assign ito ng IP address dito sa range na to 3280. Then click natin yung next. Next button again. Then click natin yung next sa mga susunod na window. So dito nagkakaroon ng pagkakaiba dun sa Windows 2008 at saka Windows 2012. Dahil meron tayo dito mga additional na features such as configuring yung IP address para sa router na gagamitin ng mga clients natin. But now we will configure these options later. Click natin yung next, and then click finish. So those were the basics of installing and configuring Windows Server 2012 R2 as well as adding roles and features sa iyong server installation. After this, mag-a-add ka naman ng mga credentials for your users as well as pagdadagdag din ng iba pang mga roles tulad na lamang ng printer management at saka file sharing capabilities para sa iyong server. If you found this video useful, please click on the like button below, subscribe to our channel. 
And don't forget to click the notification bell para lagi kang updated kung kailan tayo maglalabas ng ating mga bagong videos. At para sa susunod mong video, please click sa card na nandito sa taas para sa installation naman ng Windows Server 2008 at sa playlist na nandito sa ibaba para naman sa iba pang mga CSS tutorials. And I'll see you in the next one.